Messerschmitt. Memories of World War II are revived with the grisly discovery of a skeleton aboard a wrecked Messerschmitt. Bergerac must do some high flying to get to the bottom of it. Bergerac, tonight at 9.30, following The Professionals. You're watching all of today's VFL action on Sevens Big League. And still to come, on this round, Footscray take on Carlton. Scott Palmer with the latest in footy news. Fitzroy make their run against the Ruse. After match interviews and more. Sevens Big League. Plenty of action happened today, round 21. Let's go back to seasons past now and find out what happened in this round as we go once again and say a very good evening to Sandy Roberts. Thank you, Peter. Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to On This Round. This week, it's round 21. We're focusing our attention on the penultimate in home and away matches. Greg Kennedy kicked 12 for the Blues in their 68-point win over Hawthorne at Prince's Park in 1972. It wasn't to be Carlton's day in 1977. The Blues lost a thriller to the Tigers by three points at the MCG. Noonan kicked five for the Victors, but Neil Baum copped two from the Tribunal for spitting at Rod Ashman. 1978, and a disputed goal off the boot of John Henry gave the Hawks victory by two points over Geelong. One-time Magpies, Rene Kink, Peter Moore and Alan Edwards combined to give Collingwood a 19-point win over Carlton in a rehearsal of the 1979 Grand Final. It was Carlton's third loss for the year, but revenge was just around the corner. The courage of a blood-spattered Francis Burke was enough to inspire any Tiger, and that's exactly what happened when Richmond beat North by 11 points in 1980. Two big names had the tribunal working on Monday night back in 1982. Richmond's Jimmy Jess was ousted for two weeks for striking South's Wayne Carroll, and Brent Croswell, who was reported for striking Michael Moncrief, didn't get to play in what was to be his last game. He was suspended for one match. Last year on this round, Bernie Quinlan took until the 18th minute mark of the last quarter to get through the nervous 90s and become the first Fitzroy player to kick 100 goals in a season. In a sensational match against North, Carlton lost star forward Peter Bazusto for the finals. He was suspended for four games for striking North's John Law. He was let off of a charge of striking Gary Dempsey. It was the last the Blues were to see of the buzz. Or is it? There's no doubt about the buzz, he certainly creates interest wherever he goes and who knows if we will in fact see him here again in the ranks of the VFL. Well there it is, round 21, I'll be back next week with a look at the final round of home and away matches, but now back to today's action, here's Peter. <laughs>